Hey guys, and welcome back to my Empties, Regrets and Reviews video. I say this every time, I have no idea what number I'm on until I edit it because the number's just going up and up and up. So, I have 10 products to share with you guys today. I only do 10 because I feel like it's a smaller video if I only do 10. And yeah, let's dive straight in. Okay, so the first product that I am diving right into is this. I got this in one of my birch boxes. It is a, I think they pronounce it ritual teas, I'm not too sure. It is a powdered face mask. So when you open it, it is extremely, this one was extremely green. I don't know if there's anything in there really left to show you. And basically you just mix it with two teaspoons of water and then you slap it all over your face and you wash it off. And of course it wouldn't be a true Nicola video if I hadn't taken a selfie whilst wearing it and this, is what I look like, unfortunately. Yeah. It was lumpy, it was green, and it made my skin tingle, but oh my god, I freaking loved it. I was like so impressed. The only downside to it is, I can delete that photo now, thank god. The only downside to it was the fact that I think, if I can remember correctly, which I'm sure I can, it was extremely expensive because you had to buy it in quite a large tub and you obviously just scoop out so much and add so much water to it and it lasts you that way um but i do believe it was very expensive and yeah so it was really nice it did leave my face feeling soft um but i wouldn't buy it for the price point other than that love the stuff <laughs> so here we are again and we're getting rid of another nail polish this is an avon nail polish and basically the reason why i'm getting rid of it is not because i don't like it it's in the shade pearl it is just genuinely because i pay to get my nails done every month they are my own nails i just have something on top of them i have the acrylic put on top and i pay for they are really long as well <laughs> i pay for these to be done every month and if i want to color on them i can just ask for a color it's no extra the gel polish is extra but it's no extra to have a normal nail polish and so I really paint my nails anymore and i feel like i'm just literally just keeping them for no reason i'm just they're just sat there getting wasted so that one isn't going in the bin i'm actually going to pass that on to somebody else that will probably love it and use it a lot more than me but yeah um i would buy it again i just i don't paint my nails much anymore so i don't see the point in having nail polishes which is makes me quite sad the next thing i have to show you guys that is covered in fluff and dust and everything else is a victoria jackson and it is a cream stick eyeshadow now this one was in the shade black i love this is smoking out and but unfortunately the last little bit it did snap off so i'm getting just a little bit out on my hand that's left and when i say a little bit i'm full on press and this is why i didn't use it on my eyes no more and there it is and i love the stuff you can smudge it out and create a really good smoky little eye without actually having to use eyeshadows I'm just rubbing it off on my 90, all right? Because I got a 90 on because this is how I roll nowadays in a 90. <laughs> but yes, um, I loved it actually. I don't know where you find it. My friend actually gave me that. It came with three sets, so I've still got two left. But I did really enjoy using that. And f I probably would buy it again if the price point was right. If it's too expensive, then no, I wouldn't. I would just get a black eyeshadow. But I loved it next i have a brow pen and this is what it looks like this is a soap and glory archery now it has two sides one side has a little felt tip one side has a swirly up crayon now the swirly up crayon i'm not gonna lie i wasn't really a fan of there's a little bit left you had to dig deep for it and when you draw it on your face i don't like to dig deep it it hurts <laughs> um but the other side i absolutely loved but as you can see if i do this it's it's still there it's just wearing it down and it's not dark enough for my brows anymore and it was a shame because you couldn't really get a good defined line with it i was hoping to like do the under bit and get a good defined line and then be able to sort everything else out but i couldn't because it was just too light um so for that reason alone it is going in the bin yes i would recommend it but i feel like i definitely need a darker shade the only problem i'm unsure on if this comes in a dark shade i think this might just be it so a little bit disappointed on that, but yes. Hmm. As for brows, we're gonna stick with brows. I have this Maybelline brow drama, yay! Okay, this has had it. It is dry as anything. You can still get like a little bit of product, but it is so dry. Like I'm doing this on my finger. I'm just getting like bits of powder on there now. So this was great for setting the brows in place. I don't feel like it darkened them in any way, shape or form. I don't think it did anything amazing, it just, 
set your hairs in place. So after you've done all your makeup and you could go on to it and you could just hmm, get more one random stray hair just flicking the other way. No, 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 not with this stuff. It held them really nicely down. But it is that old, like even the packaging's like worn and I love it. It's all peely and mank. But yes, I did enjoy it. I think it was only about five pounds. So for the price point to set your hairs in place, yes, I would actually buy it again. Um, if you have good bushy eyebrows and you like to just set the hairs, this doesn't seem to darken them much. Maybe I need a darker shade. I did get the medium brown. Um, but no, I wouldn't recommend it for that. I'd just recommend it for actually setting the hair in place. And I bet you can find a cheaper product for that. But I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it and I've had it for years. I feel like I've had it years anyway. Next we have a pressed powder, yay! Okay, so this is the Rimmel Stay Matte and it is in the shade 001 Transparent. Now, I love these. These are these retail at around $4.99. You can usually get them on offer at $3.99. And they are brilliant. They're just a fantastic pressed powder to set your makeup in place. They don't make you feel over the top special like when you put an expensive powder on but they are really good for your everyday wearing makeup however so as you swirl your brush in you can eventually see the middle of the pan you always find the middle of the pan the ma makeup never works down perfect it always the middle that goes first by the there is like three rings in this okay one two three by the time it gets halfway between the second and the third ring, or in the actual second ring, if that's what you want to class it as, third ring, whatever. By the time it gets in between the second and this third ring, it starts to break away. So you'll find little bits of makeup just chip off and fall out, which is fine, you can live with it. By the time it actually gets to this last little ring, your makeup, obviously one side will have more makeup than the other, so one side will be over, one side will be under it breaks and it snaps and the whole thing just falls out so you never get the full use of it i need to like get like um a little compact and just start to chuck in all the bits that break off because they usually do break off in your hands to be fair and actually store it and then maybe repress it myself um because i feel like every five of these you get through you could make yourself a new one um it is pretty disappointing when it gets to the edges i feel like they need to maybe use a different design idea maybe like a i don't know some form of different pan because it doesn't really happen i mean i noticed with like with eyeshadows you tend to the last few little bits break off but you do lose quite a bit of product i'd say you'd lose at least a fifth of the product but it's a damn good pressed powder for five quid and you just can't grumble at a damn good pressed powder for five quid. So for that reason, I keep, I keep buying them, <laughs> basically, yes. So yes, I definitely recommend it and yes, I'd definitely go out and buy another one. So next I have a lipstick. Yes, she's finally run out of a lipstick and this, the, you can get a little bit out of here, but it's, in fact, let me scrape. I have even removed the bung out of this. So this is a Tanya Burr. I've just scraped some out, you're all right. And this is what it looks like. It's a very sheer, shimmery pink. I used to put this on top of lipsticks for work. Um, I just, This is the packaging, basically. It did have Tanya Burr written on there, but it doesn't have any more because I've worn it away. The gold used to look nicer, everything. But it's empty. And these last little bits at the bottom, you can never, ever get out. You can actually see on one side, there's like a little in then i'm not gonna be able to get that on camera and no, i'm not it's like a big bubble but yeah i thoroughly enjoyed using this um i probably wouldn't purchase this color ever again um i don't feel like there's much pigment to it but i did really enjoy this product okay so i also got this in a birch box this is the scrub love invigorating coffee body scrub i used it because i'm a firm believer in trying everything once i hate coffee therefore i hated this <laughs> It came out like coffee granules. I was in the shower and I, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Ooh, I'm gonna do it. And I scraped it out and I smeared it all over myself. It was an okay scrub. I wouldn't, I'd rather use a sugar scrub any day. Um, the smell. If you like coffee, it's probably good for you. I could not stand this. So I thought, I'm gonna pin it now because I really did not like it. I found it absolutely disgusting and then it left like you know how sometimes like the water travels and it sticks to the sides of the bath I had these dirty brown bits and they were everywhere and it made my bath messy 
and the water just constantly looked like wee and it just didn't like it it wasn't for me i hated the thing i hated it and i wish i'd never tried it and just lied to you guys instead of tried it because so the next thing going into my empty streets and reviews is another one of these ah Okay, this is the facial wipes that I've been talking about. I think I mentioned in my last one from Primark. Love them. Absolutely freaking love these things. They're just amazing. Like, for a pound for 25 wipes, they're bloody brilliant. But it's not a pound for 25 wipes because you actually get two packets of this. So you get 50 wipes for a pound. They are freaking amazing. That's all I'm saying, people. That's all I'm saying. Go get them. And the last thing that I've got to show you guys is actually an eyeshadow palette. A teeny tiny eyeshadow palette. This is a Clinique. Um, I couldn't tell you what colour it was in. This was given to me by a friend. This, let me just show you. It was a three-parter. So this should have been a blush and there was two eyeshadows. The eyeshadows were amazing. Um, I like the fact that the base eyeshadow was bigger and the definer one was smaller so you kind of use your most of your products up i did lose a little bit of this one by the time i got to the last little drags it did kind of break out and i lost it and this was a blush however I, d I, d I dislike the blush i completely dislike it i didn't like it in any way shape or form it's just not really mean it kind of looks like you're putting um, a really light bronzer on your cheeks so for that reason that reason alone it's going however i did love the eyeshadows they was nice they lasted they was easy to apply but it's going in the bin because it's empty and sad that it's empty because it means there was a space on there and then i had to go buy some other things but i did really enjoy it and for that reason that reason alone it's going in the bin but yeah i'd recommend cleaning eyeshadows i'd love to try some more hmm, definitely and that is the end of my empties, regrets and reviews video i hope you guys enjoyed this video it has gone on for so long and i need to do so much editing but Yes, I'd like to thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another video. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see one of my latest videos, click over in the top corner. And if you would like to see a different video that YouTube has selected for you, then click in this bottom corner. Thank you, take care, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye!